And now even bulletproof businesses are getting hit. News on 6 anchor Jennifer Lauren found more than 100 Tulsans were blindsided by the news they'll lose their jobs at the start of the new year in an industry thought to be one of the few bright spots in our economy in crisis. Wind energy, a relatively new industry to this part of the country. But by the end of this year, the industry will provide more than 60,000 jobs nationwide. More than 50 new wind industry manufacturing plants have opened in the last two years, including this one in East Tulsa, DMI Industries. DMI manufactures wind towers for wind farm developers. They plan to expand their Tulsa facility in the coming year, adding 250 new jobs. But here at Trinity Structural Towers in Tulsa, it's a different story. They manufacture similar towers, and they're closing. More than 130 hourly and administrative employees will be laid off. This letter delivered to those employees says their anticipated separation date is January 17, 2009. The managers of the Tulsa plant would not comment on camera, but the corporation released this statement. They say the plant closure is due to wind farm developers' difficulty in receiving financing. And due to that lack of financing, developers are forced to delay upcoming projects. The American Wind Energy Association says 2008 will be a record-breaking year. They estimate 9,000 manufacturing jobs will have been created this year alone. But they say 2009 won't break any records. In an email, a Wind Energy Association spokesperson says the industry will be hurt by what has happened in the financial markets. She says the current financial challenges are likely to contribute to the continuing consolidation of the industry. But she says Trinity's plant closure is against the trend and that good projects are moving forward. Much of the industry's success will depend on the incoming presidential administration and the energy policies he puts in place. Jennifer Lauren, the News on 6 tonight.